Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Tuesday the 6th of August. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your light, your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. Your decrees are my inheritance for ever. Truly they are the joy of my heart. How sweet are your words to my taste. They are sweeter than honey to my mouth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our Tuesday evening psalm is Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved. And the one who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, the one who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. It is the Lord who watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil, and the Lord shall keep you safe. The Lord will watch over your going out and your coming in, from this time forth for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Continuing our readings in John's Gospel, St John chapter 1, verses 19 to 28. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, did not deny it but confessed, I am not the Messiah. They asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As the prophet Isaiah said, Now they have been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Why then are you baptising, if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptise with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptising. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I suspect many, if not all of us, are currently turning to sacred sources for consolation and indeed for illumination on the current acts of hatred and violence that threaten to dominate the attention of us all. So in the light of contempt and ignorance and hatred on our streets, what do we find in these nine verses from John? Well, the testimony of John the Baptist is that he is not the Messiah. And first and foremost, that is our testimony too. We are not God. We are not Christ Jesus. We are not those who have the answers, the powers, the ultimate sway. Our place, as John says at the end, is the one coming after him. He is not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. Humility is our place. That in the mysteries and questions 
in the sufferings and trouble of our world, ultimately we are not the ones who know the answers or have the final say. But, as with John the Baptist, we are those whose place is to throw the attention upon the one who is love and light, whose life and ministry, whose death and resurrection counter the hatred, the harm and the ignorance so manifest on our streets currently. It is him who with John we would say we are not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal, but rather we are called to walk humbly in his way of peace and love in the name of the one who did not despise those on the margins but spent time with them and embodied love and grace with them so too must we amen our hymn this evening is the hymn crown him with many crowns and we here the choir and congregation of First Plymouth Church, Lincoln, Nebraska.
some of you are saying that once again Facebook is letting us down. 